Nurses rallied outside Middlemore Hospital this afternoon calling for safer parking for hospital staff after a spate of thefts and vandalism. The nurses' organisation says some staff cars have been left unusable after attempted burglaries, broke ignitions and steering wheels. And in May, a nurse was followed while she was walking alone to her car. Since then, County's Manukau District Health Board has put extra security measures in place, but the nurses' organisation says nurses still feel unsafe. Our Reporter Annika Smith was at the picket. We're here outside the entrance of uh, Middlemore Hospital and we're joining a number of nurses who are picketing in protest, calling on the DHB for uh, safer car parking conditions. Now, the nursing union says this has been an ongoing issue. They say measures taken by the county's Monaco District Health Board don't go far enough. That includes two extra security guards to escort staff to their cars at night and extra fencing and lighting. Now, Joining us now um, as part of the protest, we have Armin and Sella, who are both nurses here at Middlemore Hospital. Um, Sella, can you tell us why you're protesting today? So I'm protesting today to make sure that we have adequate parking that's safe for our, for our staff. We pay $10.20 a week, and when we go to work and we get calls that our cars have been broken into, that just causes extra worry on top of what we're already worrying about um, in the hospital. and. That's why I'm protesting today. What sort of experiences have some of the nurses had here? Uh, broken cars, the cars being broken into, exhaust pipes been taken out, batteries been taken out of the cars, and their vehicles just been stolen. One lady, her car got lit on fire one one night, which is crazy yeah. that that's allowed to happen. Um, and you're, you're a nurse here who does work night shifts. Can yes. you tell me a bit about what it's like to um, try and find your car at the end of a long shift? Well, when I go, when I finish a shift, I last thing I worry about is losing my car. So if my car's parked somewhere far and no one can monitor my car, how safe do I feel? And, and I'm paying for it, so I'm working, and the last thing I'm worried about is my getting, car getting that stolen. So. This is just not going anywhere. We're feeling so unsafe at the moment with our parking. So many staff have lost their cars. It's been stolen. You know, that's just putting extra stress on them and it's just not acceptable at all. Back to you, Seller. Um, the DHB came back in a written response this morning saying they'd already put more security measures in place. What more do they need to do to make sure you feel safe? We actually need cameras in every single area of our car parks. These cameras are not monitored, the ones that we do have at the moment, and we need them monitored 24-7, not just um, when an accident happens, then they're going to go back and look at the footage. We need actual fencing around our car parks to make sure that we don't have uh, the public just walking onto property like they do every single day and going into the car parks. Those are two main things that I, we would like to see happen. Yeah. In the DHB's response, they also said they were aware of anecdotal evidence of incidents happening, but that nurses weren't actually making formal complaints. What do you have to say to that? Well, I think nurses have been making complaints for years. It just hasn't been uh, noticed or heard by the DHB until us making a, a, a bigger fuss about it now mm -hmm. and making this an issue that it's been going on. I've been here for like nearly four years and this has been going on for that long. Mm -hmm. In the response, they also say that safety is a top priority for them. Do you feel that way? No. We, 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 as Aman said, the last priority for us is our parking. But how are we supposed to f feel that we're safe coming to work and leaving our cars if our colleagues' cars are getting stolen? That's, that's just not safety to me. And that report from Annika Smith, who was at the protest outside Middlemore over safety at the car park there.